Plowing on through, it's again, is survived by against Alien Lanes, is survived by, is gonna win. I love Alien Lanes, uh, I do, I love Gotta Buy Voices, I think turning 25 has really opened my eyes to how old I truly am as I gravitate so much more towards Gotta Buy Voices and stuff like that. I can feel myself aging as I say that, but pound for pound, it's is survived by. Alien Lanes has incredible music on it, but yeah, no, I don't know, head-to-head -head matchup gonna have to go with survive by all right hell hath no fury up against the soft bulletin uh yeah hell hath no fury let's let's give it to that soft bulletin is my favorite flaming lips album uh but i don't know man in comparison, it, it's still got to be Hell Hath No Fury. I will say, The Soft Bolton is probably one of my favorite sounding albums ever. Just the entire approach to the mixing and production, it sounds fantastic. As soon as the album opens up to the drums on Race for the Prize, you just know that there's something special there. But alas, it's run ends here. All right, this is absolutely the toughest one in this round of 32 so far. I don't know if it's ever going to get tougher than this. This is rough. Alive 2007, Dirt. Oh, fuck, man. Uh, I, I wish you could all just see into my brain the, the war that is happening right now between these two albums. Just a generational conflict going on inside of me. But, uh, yeah, all right, I'm, I'm gonna go with Dirt. I have been so Alice in Chains pilled as of late that it is gonna take the prize. But Alive 2007, it's probably my favorite live album ever. It is perfect. It is the best Daft Punk record to ever come out. I don't even think that's all that much of a hot take at this point too, which is kind of crazy. I love it. It's amazing. But yeah, it's it's got to end here, unfortunately. And now we have Dag Nasty Can I See up against Gulch's Impenetrable Cerebral Fortress. Uh, man. Man, funny, my first instinct was Gulch, and I'm thinking about it a little bit more, and yeah, I, I think Can I Say is gonna move on. Can I Say is like a sneaky good record for me. It's one that I kind of forget how much I love until I hear it again, and all of a sudden I'm reinvigorated and fighting for its will. And that unfortunately pushes out Impenetrable Cerebral Fortress, which is, in my opinion, one of, if not the greatest hardcore album of the 2020s thus far. It's a remarkably hard record. If you don't know it and you like hardcore or want to dabble in it, then this is absolutely the record for you. And of course, I did just cover them and so you're interested in so you can always go watch that if you're a little unsure okay cool that is going to do it for the forever spinning north round of 32 let's switch over to music board blonde versus hell mode this is one of the easiest decisions i've made all night it's blonde hell mode is a great record i think it's completely overrated as soon as fantano named it his album of the year i just i, I knew that it was going to be overhyped it is a really good record i hope that it's not getting a bad name because of that association, not because Fantano's bad by any means, I think he's completely fine, but the Hive Mind fans that fall beneath that, who, you know, maybe don't necessarily think for themselves entirely, it can become annoying when it's shoved down your throat time and time again, it's it's a tough, tight rope to cross, but in complete fairness, it never had a shot against Blonde, regardless of any of the stuff I just talked about. Next up, man, two fantastic classic albums here. This is not easy, um... It is and it isn't. I'm gonna go with what's going on. Again, head to head, track for track, it's what's going on. That, that's why it's winning this round. I love Blonde on Blonde. It really has been in the past like year or so that I've really been getting into Dylan and really exploring his discography. Blonde on Blonde being my favorite up until this point at least. But if you're gonna go round for round against what's going on, you're gonna have a very difficult time. And because of that, yeah, nine times out of 10, what's going on is gonna win this one. All right, now we have for you, up against To Pimp a Butterfly. So To Pimp a Butterfly is going to win here, um, I, but I don't want to be all that much dismissive of For You. It is an amazing album. If you've never heard it before, you should absolutely go seek it out. It's not one that you're going to find on Spotify. You're going to have to go on YouTube and figure that out. But you know, hey, you're smart. You can do it. It's hailed as one of the greatest city pop albums of all time. And for good reason, it's a lovely mix of songs. But again, you, you can't really go head to head against To Pimp a Butterfly. As a whole, it just completely crushes for you. To put it into basketball terms, To Pimp a Butterfly is like the Warriors when they're in their dynasty going up against, I don't know, the Pistons when they won in the 2000s. Like, yeah, they won the championship, but going up against the Dynasty Warriors, you're just not going to win, unfortunately. And the final matchup in this round of 32 in Music Board, uh, 
wow. This is this is a very, very difficult one. But I think that Donuts is gonna edge it out. The song is in the key of life. What do I have to say? If you haven't heard it already, you go listen to it right now. If you don't like it, you figure out and ask your parents when exactly they dropped you on your head. And maybe I should be asking my parents the same thing, as I do have donuts beating it. But I don't think that's all that far-fetched. I don't think it's completely crazy to have this occurrence happen, to have this matchup end the way that it is ending. So yeah, I'm gonna live with it. That is what it is. Debate in the comments below. Now for the Bort section, uh, in color against a secret life. It's in color. That that, that's, that's, that's an easy one. It's, Secret Life, it's fine. It's totally cool. It's a really good concept. I love Brian Inu. I'm, I'm beginning to like Fred again, but it's just too quiet. It's not my vibe. I, I, you know, I like atmospheric stuff. I like, you know, that whole genre, that whole style of quiet music. But when you put it up against In Color, <laughs> that, yeah, you're never gonna win. I will take that dance music fucking 11 times out of 10. All right, Plantasia up against Goo. Ooh, man. All right. Uh, ooh, this is a, this is a bit of a thinker. Um, ah, ooh, yeah. Eh, I, I'm gonna go goo here. I, I, I don't know if I love this one. This might be one that I come to regret uh, in a little bit of time. Mainly just because Plantasia is one of those albums that... I guess this is why it's losing, but also why it would make it this far, is that it's such its own sound. It's entirely itself. There's not much like it, although many people have tried. And because of that, you kind of have to be in the mood exactly for Plantasia for it to really take its full effect. Whereas Goo, I can toss it on almost at any time, and at least I'll be bumping to a couple of the songs or all of the songs. Basically, Goo is not as mood dependent as Plantasia is, and unfortunately, that's more of a crutch on myself than maybe Plantasia itself. I don't know. Maybe I could sit here and debate and theorize for a long time about that, but who cares? It is what it is. Goo's moving on. Sorry, Plantasia. And then we got Air, Moon Safari, Descendants, Milo Goes to College. Um... I'm gonna go with Moon Safari here. I love Milo Goes to College. Uh, it's such a great record. It's a staple of the Descendants discography. And I don't want to knock it at all, but yeah, no, it, it's it's definitely gonna lose this one. The entire environment that is surrounded by Moon Safari completely overshadows anything that Milo Goes to College has going on. And while the tunes are super catchy, super fun, outstanding punk music, incredibly important for the genre, it's it's just not as groundbreaking and earth shaking as Moon Safari. And then, wow, yeah, this is this is a really difficult one, too. The difficulty of this might be up there with Alive 2007 going up against Dirt. Um, Heaven or Las Vegas, I, I feel pretty good about that. I, I think if you put these two records in front of me right now, instinctively, I would reach for Heaven or Las Vegas. So, uh, yeah, for, for that reason alone, I, I'm just gonna let this one win. Pornography, what do I really have to say, though? I mean, if you haven't heard it already, go listen to it. I'm pretty new to The Cure myself, so, like, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to give you shit if you've never heard it before. But it's outstanding. Go take some time. You'll love it. And maybe you'll love it as much as Heaven or Las Vegas. Maybe you won't. But, you know, hey, that's why I made the bracket gave it to you guys. You can do whatever you want with it. Maybe you'll have it winning. Who knows? But I don't got time for this shit. We gotta keep moving on. Over to Forever Spinning South we go. Silver Jews American Water. Orchid Dance Tonight Revolution Tomorrow. It's American Water. The Silver Jews have been playing nonstop for me lately, so yeah. The Orchid didn't have a shot. But Dance Tonight Revolution Tomorrow, what an incredible screamo power violence record. One of the best in the genre, absolutely hands down. If you're experimenting with more aggressive music and you haven't heard this before, th yeah, you're gonna want to hear it. And you're not gonna waste all that much time. It's like 10 fucking minutes long. Yank Crime against Gorilla Biscuit's self title uh yank crime's gonna take this love me my gorilla biscuits love the self-titled effort i think it's light years better than start today kind of hot take i think i don't know maybe i don't know whether tides have shifted on that or not outstanding hardcore punk it really doesn't get that much better in terms of new york hardcore at the time but yank crime Damn, man. I don't know. There's some pretty stellar songs, too. Again, one that I just have to live with and move on and not think about until, you know, three hours from now when I try to go to bed and regret my decision. I'm kidding. I actually feel uh, pretty strongly about Yank Crime there. That That's cool. All right, Siamese Dream. Songs to scream at the sun. Uh, Siamese Dream. It's, it's gonna win, uh... But I do fucking love Songs to Scream at the Sun. I could even go as far to say it, it, it might be 
my favorite hardcore album of all time. I don't know if I want to stake that claim. I, I might regret publicly saying that, but I don't know, man. I that's kind of a tough call. That's a really difficult one. Siamese Dream, it's a classic. It's it's an all-timer for me. It always has been. It always will be. So let's just move on and not think about it too much. Then we have Avlov Buds, The Whaler, Home is Where. Uh, Home is Where is going to take this again. It's probably a recency bias, but that's fine. Buds, outstanding so so good the avlov audio tree live session just dropped a couple of days ago so we're living through that now which is awesome buds is the type of album that i can play for pretty much anybody and i feel like they'll enjoy it they have songs that you can like sneak into playlists or queue with your friends who don't know it and they really wouldn't know the difference and that's just a testament to how well the songs are written and really how well they sound but it's not enough to take down the whale unfortunately so it's run ends here here. Let's take a little look-see here, see how the bracket is doing. We are now moving into the Sweet 16. And let's not waste any more time here. This matchup, uh, whew, yeah, they're, they're all going to be difficult now, aren't they? Um, it is, is survived by Hell Hath No Fury, though. It, like I said, probably my favorite hip-hop album of all time. Clips, Clips had it going on, man. Pharrell, Pharrell was killing it with that production. This is one of those albums that, you know, when everybody talks about the greatest hip-hop albums ever, whenever it gets left off those lists, I am fucking furious. Maybe not as culturally important as a lot of the other records that are typically mentioned, but I don't know, man. When you put it out there, pound for pound, it's so fucking good. This is just my way of saying that Hell Hath No Fury has the forever spinning seal of approval. Dirt, Alice in Chains, can I say Dag Nasty? You know what? Can I say it right now? Can I say the Dag Nasty Cinderella run has come to an end? Yes, that is it. Dirt moves on. But can I say, so good. So good. I, I always go back. I'm always listening to it. it. It's such an easy album to listen to. So influential to emo, whether people want to admit it or not. It's just a damn good punk album. Maybe probably it could be my favorite discord release but that's a topic for another video let's let's keep on moving on here blonde and what's going on this is tough i think i have too many memories with blonde to not choose it at this point and that's unfortunate I love what's going on. I remember I wrote like multiple essays in college about this very record for various classes. It's a classic. I don't need to tell you that. You've been told that for your entire fucking life by other people. So it hurts when it has to go up against a modern classic in Blonde, but you know, hey, that's these are the difficult choices that are going to need to be made in this video. I'm staying strong. I'm doing all that I can to power through and make the right choices. <laughs> but seriously, moving on here to Pimple Butterfly, Donuts, Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? I, I, I don't know if I'm going to like this pick in a little while, but right now we're going donuts. We are doing that. Yeah, you know what? The hell with it. I'll, I'm committing to it. We're going with donuts. To Pimp a Butterfly, revolutionary. Not necessarily, you know, in terms of how it was approached with hip hop. It's not like there are some crazy new sounds that have never been used before. But there are very few albums that exist in this world that have been so particularly and articulately crafted like To Pimp a Butterfly. And unfortunately for Kendrick and To Pimp a Butterfly, Donuts is also one of those records. And again, it, you know, I keep going back to this. If you were to put these two records in front of me right now, what one would I reach for to put on the turntable? Yeah, it's probably going to be donuts it's probably going to be donuts but we can't dwell on that forever there's plenty more to do here uh such as in color up against goo oh <clears throat> uh yeah 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 in color goo is my favorite sonic youth record but i don't know man in color i just i get so much enjoyment out of that album i don't really have all that much to say about goo um but if you have not listened to sonic youth i actually would start with this record i think it's the perfect introductory point to their music so yeah absolutely toss it on if you haven't before and talk about two really dreamy records here moon safari against heaven or las vegas um yeah, you know what? Let's I, I I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Heaven or Las Vegas. I made my bed, I'm sleeping in it, so yeah, Cocktoo Twins is gonna move on here. But Moon Safari, goddamn. Well, they just announced that they're playing it in full, going on tour, they're stopping by. I, I haven't gotten tickets yet, but I really fucking want to go see this album played. I'm not like the biggest electronic fan in the entire world. I think that's pretty obvious at this point based on, you know, the videos that I upload. But Moon Safari is just 
something special. It really is. It's it's an experience like few other records can really give you. And if you haven't done it yet, if you haven't sat through the album, you need to change that. And the final Sweet 16 matchups here, uh, Silver Jews, American Water, Drive Like Jehu Yang Crime, Silver Jews again. You know, when people talk about the greatest concept albums of all time, I think that a lot of people look over Yang Crime because it really isn't as overt as some of the others that exist out there. But God damn, man, it is just some of the best post-hardcore that has ever been laid to wax. Aggressive, angry, but angry with a purpose. And more so than just personal beef, that's not the point of this album. It's more of an overarching anger at the world. And the state of the way that things are run, and I don't know, it's, it's an album that is not looked upon to be revolutionary in some ways, as much as it should be. But yeah, sonically, lyrically, really everything about this, the songwriting is stellar. I, I love Yang Crime. It holds a very special place in my heart but american water holds a bit more real estate unfortunately in my heart and therefore it moves on siamese dream the whaler this is going to be an interesting one i am going to pick siamese dream but i'm uh, i'm a, kind of upset about that i would have liked to have seen the whaler move on this far i don't think it would have just been recency bias but overall it is siamese dream i love it the whaler is incredible it was my favorite album of last year for a reason but you know it's going up against the titan it's okay to lose sometimes you made it this far as a 20 23 album in this bracket that's still pretty damn good my camera's gonna die i'm gonna go smoke a cigarette and then we'll be back Okay, the Elite Eight, we have made it that far. We're not done yet, but we're pretty darn close. All right, first up is Survive By Against Dirt. Uh, I'm still gonna go with Is Survive By here. I'll explain a little bit why we're still going with Is Survive By, but uh, yeah, for now, Dirt, I mean, come on, man. I, I love this album. I love Alice in Chains in general. I, I literally just got my uh, 30th anniversary pressing of Jar of Flies in you know, a couple hours ago. Sounds great, by the way. If you can get your hands on it, definitely do so. But Dirt, God damn, what a fucking awesome album. The riffs are crazy, the songs are amazing. I love the vocals, they're so heartfelt. Every single thing in that album feels purposeful. It's angry and pissed off, but it's also vulnerable and sad all at the same time. It's a very complex album and I absolutely adore it for that reason. But alas, it made it this far, there's no knocking that. It's just, you know, hey, you hate to see it go. Let's move on over to the music board section here. It's Blonde Against Donut. Um, all right. I, I I have a lot of opinions on this one. I'm gonna go with Blonde, but, you know, I, I think I could have been swayed either way. Donuts is a remarkable piece of music. There's absolutely no denying that. The number of samples used, the ideas that were manipulated and really crafted to turn into what Donuts became is legendary to say the least it's a body of work that truly needs no praise it's an album that is understood as a great because of what it is donuts is one of those albums that i don't necessarily fault people for not knowing per se but after they hear it if i don't hear you know some crazy good opinions i have second thoughts i'm not trying to judge people on how they think of music i mean it's subjective that's the whole point of this but to not recognize brilliance in donuts is kind of confounding it's an idea that I can't even really wrap my head around. But even with all that, I still do prefer Blonde. I don't know, that's just my personal preference. I don't know, I don't, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Donuts is so incredible if you've never heard it before. Sit down, just experience the entire record. Buy it on vinyl if you get a chance to do it. Jay Dilla seemed like a pretty damn cool dude. And uh, yeah, listening to Donuts is the least that you can do. All right, moving on down here, Bort. Bort, what do you have? You have In Colors and Heaven or Las Vegas. Yeah, I guess... I guess it is Heaven or Las Vegas. I love In Color. Uh, Jamie XX is awesome. I need him to make a new record, like, I don't know, at some point. I don't try to rush genius here, but uh, come on, man. We need something. We're starving out here. And In Color is just a classic. I, you know, it, it's a staple of modern electronic music. It's an album that I can toss on and enjoy anytime that I really want. It has that accessibility, you know? It, it has that replayability value as well. But still, Heaven or Las Vegas, Kind of hard to beat that. Pretty damn hard to beat that. And then the last Elite 
8 match up it's going to be American Water and Siamese Dream yeah it, it, it's gonna be American Water it's funny now that I'm looking at it I'll zoom out here for a second now that I'm looking at it it's kind of crazy that Siamese Dream made it this far I'm, I'm pretty impressed I guess it did have a pretty easy path now that I'm looking at it down here but uh still it deserves to be you know making it this far it's an amazing album it's one that I play constantly even when I set up my new audio equipment last year uh the first thing I did was play this record as a sound test. It's a massive monumental album for so many different reasons that I just can't even get into right now. So it hurts to see it go. I'm not like happy to see it get knocked out or anything, but up against American Water, yeah, I can live with that. Let's do one last look here. Oop, gotta, gotta fix that. That looks bad. Okay. One last look here. Wow. Look at that. Look at that bracket. Isn't it beautiful? You might not agree with the picks, but isn't it beautiful? All right, let's figure out who is going to be in the final matchup. First, I'm gonna have to choose between Is Survived By by Touche Amore or American Water by Silver Juice. This, this is gonna be one of the hardest decisions I think I've I've made, just in general, actually. Just not even in this video, in life itself, this is gonna be one of the hardest decisions I've ever made. Fuck it. American Water. You're moving on. I think if I made this video this time last year, there's, a, you know, not a non-zero chance that this would have been the final matchup, but I think back then I would have taken Is Survived By. Oh no, as of late, I've just been in such a David Berman kind of mood. I've been really really reconnecting with his music in a way that I never have before. And that's saying something because I absolutely love this album and I have for years, but something about going back in this recent time period, it hits harder, it, it connects more, it means something. And that's not to say that his survive by doesn't mean anything. Good God, I relate to this album so much. There's a reason that I typically consider it to be my favorite album of all time. I mean, who can't relate to the general message of that record of legacy, finding out who you are, or what your place is in this world. I feel deeply tethered to Is Survived By. I think that I wouldn't be the same person without that album. So yeah, this sucks. I, I really hate to knock it out. I mean, good God. And that's not even talking about the musical performances of the album itself. That's just the lyrical stuff. It's such a good mashup of hardcore, emo, screamo, all this aggressive music coming together to make this menagerie of sound. It's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, it's in, it's out, it's done. It makes its message clear and loud, and for that reason, I absolutely love it. But the David Berman pill, it's hitting right now, so American Water, congratulations, you're in the finals. And then on the other side here, I, you know, I, I really did not know how this other side was going to go. I had my reservations, I just didn't know what it was going to be like to have other people suggest records for this. But as of right now, I'm pleasantly surprised as to how it turned out. Uh, you know, I'm liking it. I like these two final ones, Blonde, Heaven or Las Vegas. To move back just for one second, I think it's really interesting to have these four records in the final four they're all completely different sounding yeah that's that that is pretty neat and uh especially here with blonde against heaven or las vegas i <sighs> Fuck, I don't know. Uh, I, you know what? I am gonna go Heaven or Las Vegas. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put that one into the final round here. Blonde you know, you, you, you are something else. You're an album that is incomparable for a lot of different reasons, you know, personal, uh, just in terms of the actual mainstream music scene itself. It's important across the board for just so many reasons. And it's good for all those reasons and more. It just, you know, it, it's, it's an album that I think people are going to look back on 10, 15, 20 years from now and hail it for something even more than a currently is. It's a staple, there's no doubting that, but I don't know, I, I think it's one that just ages like fine wine, it continues to get better and better. And the funniest part is, I can say the exact same things for Heaven or Las Vegas. It's an album that continually sounds better even as the years pass on, which is not something that really ever happens, at least in terms of my personal taste. But yeah, I feel good. This is a great final matchup. Uh, yeah, American Water or Heaven or Las Vegas. I mean, it's good in the sense that 
I know American Water is gonna win, and it will. It, it's gonna win this one, but just give me a second. I'm very glad this is the final matchup because I think that this represents a lot of, you know, what I listen to and what I enjoy, but also the bond that I kind of share with my friends and other music enjoyers as well. You know, that's kind of why I split this bracket the way that I did. I wanted to see how these two different sides can come together and where it would end up. And, you know, to be frank, I don't know if there was ever any doubt that American Water was going to lose or is survived by or, you know, any of the heavy hitters that I've been gushing about on my side of the bracket. But I'm still very glad to see the path that was taken for Heaven or Las Vegas to get to that point. So yeah, you hate to see it lose. It sucks. It's the, the hometown team, but it is what it is. Hell, I even went through that last year myself when San Diego State lost in the finals for the NCAA March Madness Tournament. But it's all good. It's all in good fun. That's why we did this bracket in the first place. This is supposed to be fun and i hope that you enjoy so yeah let's get one final look at it in all of its glory there is the bracket hell yeah I want to thank you very much if you made it this far into my March Madness Music Mania video. This was a lot of fun to make and hopefully you enjoyed and had some fun as well. If you want to play along, I did leave a link down below to the bracket itself. It's just a JPEG image, but still, if you want to have some fun and play along at home, please do so. I encourage you. I think it would be a lot of fun to see what your answers would be. You might not be as familiar with all of these records, especially the ones that I listed here, but that's okay. You know, go have fun, see what you end up with. I'd be damn surprised to find out that you didn't know any of these albums, so I'm sure you can find some way to participate. And if you do decide to play along at home, please leave a comment down below with which album you chose to be your winner. But yeah, thank you once again. I appreciate anybody who has reached out, given me album suggestions for the brackets. Specifically to Spencer and Tim, thank you for some great album suggestions here. And the music board, all you users, anybody, even if your albums weren't chosen, thank you for taking some time to leave a comment. And yeah, that is pretty much gonna do it. I I don't really know how to close out this video. You know, make sure you're subscribed, all that fun stuff. Be sure to follow me on my various social platforms. Actually, at this point, specifically Music Board. Go make sure you follow me there. I will put up my user profile right here. Be sure to join the Forever Spinning Discord server as well. We're always talking music in there, having a good time, sharing some new stuff, some old stuff, whatever it may be. Join in, tag along. We would love to have you. The only things I have left to say are to make sure that you go out and support your local record store if you're able to along with the local artists in your area and well till i see you next time happy listening